Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Hilarious! All Nike uniforms are being removed in bold move. Team embarrassed to wear the logo. Nike is getting all kinds of blowback over the Colin Kaepernick "Just Do It" ad campaign. Their stock is plummeting, and Americans are burning their Nikes in protest over the social justice movement. Suddenly, it's not cool to wear Nike anymore. The College of the Ozarks is a private Christian school in Point Lookout, Missouri. They compete in sports at the NIA level. In a development that is nothing short of hilarious, the school is now saying they will remove all uniforms purchased from Nike that contain the brand's logo. The team is embarrassed to wear the brand's logo. This bold move is happening right after Nike launched their highly controversial Just Do It ad campaign featuring former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick. They've put up billboards with his radical face on them and have YouTube ads hitting the markets, but sports fans are not impressed. In their new ad campaign, we believe Nike executives are promoting an attitude of division and disrespect toward America, College of the Ozarks president Jerry C. Davis said in a statement on Wednesday, according to KMBC. Yes, they are. They are also pushing hatred and disrespect of police officers, the military, first responders and America in general. The college was blood. They said they will choose their country over the company and remove all athletic uniforms that were bought from Nike as well as any clothing containing its emblems. Good for them. I respect that stance. If Nike is ashamed of America, we are ashamed of them, College of the Ozarks President Jerry C. Davis said in his statement. We also believe that those who know what sacrifice is all about are more likely to be wearing a military uniform than an athletic uniform. That was an astute and informed observation. This isn't the first contract that Nike has had with Kaepernick. They have kept him on their endorsement roster over the years after signing him in 2011. It's just that now he will make millions more in the deal as they launch a clothing and equipment line in honor of the Black Lives Matter supporter. Kaepernick has not appeared in any Nike ads for two years. Now, all of a sudden, he's the face of Nike. They chose very, very poorly. We believe Colin is one of the most inspirational athletes of this generation who has leveraged the power of sport to help move the world forward, Gino Fisinati, Nike's vice president of brand for North America, told ESPN. Talk about monumental tone deafness. There you go. From ABC7, a source with knowledge of Nike's contract with Kaepernick told the Associated Press that the company will feature Kaepernick on several platforms, including billboards, television commercials and online ads. Nike also will create an apparel line for Kaepernick and contribute to his Know Your Rights charity. Kaepernick is suing the NFL for allegedly colluding to keep him out of the league. An arbitrator sent Kaepernick's grievance with the NFL to trial, denying the league's request to throw out his claims that owners conspired to keep him out of the league because of his protests of social injustice. Kaepernick began a wave of protests by NFL players two seasons ago, kneeling during the national anthem to protest police brutality and racial inequality. The protests have grown into one of the most polarizing issues in sports, with President Donald Trump loudly urging the league to suspend or fire players who demonstrate during the anthem. I don't see how you can blame the College of the Ozarks for dropping Nike. They see it for what it is and no brand is more important than the love of country or the respect for those who serve this nation selflessly every day. They sacrifice everything. Kaepernick sacrifices nothing. The campaign is incredibly hypocritical. This isn't the first time the College of the Ozarks has taken a stand for its views on patriotism, the American flag, and the national anthem. In October of 2017, the college revised its contracts for competition in all sports, adding a stipulation that all participating players and coaches show respect for the American flag and the national anthem. This college gets it. Dr. Marcy Linson, Vice President of Patriotic Activities and Dean of Admissions at the college, oversees patriotic activities and safeguards the college's patriotic goal, to encourage an understanding of American heritage, civic responsibilities, love of country and willingness to defend it. Nike is free to campaign as it sees fit, as the college is free, and honor-bound by its mission and goals, to ensure that it respects our country and those who truly served and sacrificed, Linson said. Major respect. There's at least one college out there that is worth a damn. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.